This is really an exceptional space. I mean, the fan wall is huge because it gives us the ability to do things in the real world. So again, we saw this theme of kind of autonomous robots everywhere. So we just wanted to show you a few examples of this today. It's this distillation columns that we're trying to sense. So we just mocked out kind of, this is about the size of those columns. And there's big holes in the columns that go 100 feet down. And we want a robot to walk on these and not fall down the holes, presumably, right? So it's this idea of, go ahead, of fusing locomotion along with safety critical aspects. So I'm gonna be the uh, test subject here and hope the robot doesn't run into me. You're not supposed to stand near robots while they operate, just to be very clear. You're not supposed to do this at home. So again, we're not just doing a, a, a very conservative avoidance, but rather, if you'll notice here, it's gonna start placing its feet very carefully because we have a very small space to operate. So it has to, but you notice he's not touching the keyboard, just to be very clear. This is autonomous, no hands. He's not joysticking it. This is autonomously deciding not to hit me, which was very nice of the robot, actually. Um, and it's doing this sort of, it can do these foot placement, very specific foot placements. So go from static stability to dynamic stability and back as needed. So here it's slowly approaching the edge of the column. Imagine here is a big steel wall and it wants to image it with its camera, right? And then it can turn a little bit around, and then ultimately when it feels like it's out of danger, it will start to walk dynamically again. So it's this sort of full stack uh, autonomy aspect. That's the mobility bit. Now it's gonna walk actually over the manway cover, as if, you know, again, imagine there's a big hole there. So it gets its legs all wide, and then it, it steps over this cover without falling in the middle. Now we're just going to go back to normal walking. So, so that's the locomotion aspect. Now we're going to also play with flying a bit here. So we have locomotion plus flying. So this is a full like autonomy demo here. This is uh, running this uh, brand new software, learning in the loop on the fly with the drove live in front of lots of people. All right, we're going to try our drone now. That's a barrier. So what Ryan's doing here is, so this dynamics, the fact that it's flying so stable with this water bottle is only possible because we learned the dynamics. If you flew with this water bottle like this with a normal controller, this thing would go crazy. If you've done drones, you know. And now Ryan's not only gonna fly it with the learned dynamics, but he's gonna drop it. And when he drops it, the only thing preventing from hitting the ground is our safety filter, our safety laws. We'll do it again. We'll do it a couple times. Ready? So this is really hard. You've flown drones, this is really, really hard. That's pretty impressive. number one cause of crash for drones. If you've ever seen a drone with a payload not with these controllers, this thing would be going crazy right now. It'd be impossible. So the fact that the drone is so rock solid and we can do safety at the same time, it's really ridiculous. It's really All right, thanks, Ryan. That's genuinely impressive. I, I don't just say that. That's really awesome. Thanks, Ryan. Bravo, bravo. Now we gotta do one more in front of this giant fan wall. Ah, there it is. 
The transformation is very elegant too, I think. The swoops. Very good. feel what this fan wall feels to the drones, now you're welcome to come in and stand in front of it and kind of go with the flow. Alright, thank you all for attending. Let's thank all the students that did all the work.